Hi, YouTube. It's Eli. In my eyes, there's a big difference in between smart or intelligent and knowledgeable, and I find that they get mixed up a lot. And I find that there's such a big difference because they really are two huge categories that vastly different from each other and mixing them up and stuff just to me just isn't right like they just don't even deserve to be in the same category and from my perspective being intelligent or smart is going to be things in this category like puzzle solving coming up with ideas that kind of thing, like really like taking from your brain and just like doing things on your own, that kind of thing. Creating things knowledgeable is going to be you knowing things, obviously. And the reason why I think that there's such a big difference is that I feel like a lot of people think that if you have a big vocabulary or if you're good at math, then those things go in smart. And sometimes they do, but a lot of times they go in knowledgeable. Because for instance, lots of learning math is recognizing patterns and stuff like that. And recognizing those patterns falls in the smart category, but then knowing those patterns falls in the knowledgeable category. And that's where it's kind of different. Like just knowing your multiplication tables and you know knowing the different rules of algebra, that's all knowledgeable. So you can then you apply those rules and now you can be good at math. Same thing with being, same thing with having a large vocabulary. Understanding these words can be in the smart category, but knowing them is knowledgeable and that's why I think that there's such a big difference is because like IQ tests I, I think that IQ tests are ridiculous they are just so stupid in my opinion because they don't really test intelligence a lot of them are in testing knowledge in learning how someone thinks because that's what being smart is all about it's understanding how someone thinks but an IQ test usually does not understand how someone thinks a lot of times you'd have to be with them in person so that person can relay to the person taking the test about what they're thinking and their thought process and then that could have some IQ but even calculating that with a single number is a little ridiculous on its own to say that one person is just generally objectively smarter than another. But for instance, a lot of those questions are gonna be on math and knowing math. But you can't really even test intelligence at all with a test because if somebody knows the answers, then there's no point. But if you were to say solve a puzzle or a thinking puzzle like you would in a video game like there are lots of different like puzzles for completing a dungeon or something like that like that knowing how to do that and doing those fast that in my opinion is intelligence now why am i telling you this no real specific reason in particular it's just really important to me it's something that i've been talking about with uh, other people that this difference because I feel like it gets mixed up a lot of the time and it's unfair and I also really hate IQ tests. I'll see you tomorrow.